um, hello everyone. Welcome to another video. So today we'll be looking at um, how to design a roof elevation. How to design a roof elevation. So today I'll be taking you through on how to design the elevation of your roof. So like nothing much, no not much in this, it's just a few steps. If you follow up, I believe you will be able to understand how to design a roof elevation. So no principle, no rule guiding this. You just um, master a particular step. So we design we start by projecting lines we design by projecting lines so i'll make use of a vertical line so at the every edge of the roof i project this one at the every edge of this i project this one so just project the edges of that so, so we have done projecting for this then also we will project at the rich caps we project at the rich caps so projecting at this rich cap uh, we look at this too we project here so now with this so far we try to project this rich cap the reason why i the reason i project the rich caps is it will be easier for me to know the the roof height that is the what should be the height of the roof what should be the height of the roof so if i project these edges the of the of the ridge i will be able to you know know the the roof height this you will be able to take so i will, I will need to you know assume uh, the roof height from this projection i'm able to know my roof height that is why i have to project from the reach i have to project from the reach okay so then um we we'll make a straight line a pick a line uh just places at any point arbitrary point have this also then we click the x line uh, make an angle of 45 because angle of 45 is what we use to design our roof so looking at this one here look at this it's 45 so i'll put that here at this point then this one also is slanting so I'll put that same line here too. Then these two in this man uh, for this one. Okay, this one too. So I will project. I will project that. So okay. So I click X line again. Uh, have an angle of uh, 135 degree. So I have this. So for this one, I have this one. Then for this, I have this one. Yeah, for this one then for this i have this okay so we are done projecting our lines so let me trim off some lines so we're going to be trimming this ones off so we now have this left out okay so <coughs> so by looking at these shapes here so this 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 and this meets at this point so this is where it meets so you see that because of this my extension that gives me the roof height so have that here the same thing happens here too then uh, the same thing also happens the same thing happens here too okay so the same thing happens so having done that look at this 
here. No, the one thing about elevation is that is what you are looking at. What do you see when you are looking at a particular direction? So you have to represent those things you see. Looking at this line here, this straight line here, this one, you won't be seeing that. That will be behind this man when you are looking at the elevation. So we are not actually going to see this. What we have here is a top plan. This is we are looking at it from the top, and that's why we're able to see this. But when we are looking at it in a particular direction, this one will not show. But this line we actually show because it will project out. It will project out. So for me to make this line, remember check this and this. They are in the same direction the same angle so i'm going to copy this line here i'm going to copy this one okay i copy this i place this here okay i place that here place that here okay we move on then we come to this one here if you look if you observe this line extends until to this point so that means i have to extend this line until it accepts this one so i have to extend this when i extend that i have this here so you see that because of this projection now at the point where it meets that will tell me the roof height that will tell me the roof height so that's why i like projecting these lines at the reach so that i'm able to know the roof height it will be easier for me to determine the roof height so this one actually this is where it intercepts this line here so that will be the the roof height then if you observe that there's a straight line here to this point that is straight line to this point and this is where the point starts stops so i'm going to use a straight line to this point okay we now we have formed this one then this also there is an extension of this to this point the extension of this to this point so i'm going to copy this same line here okay, copy uh, then i place it here so if you look at this this line extends onto this point this is where it stops not this one so we're going to be trimming that up to this point okay so we trim that then we now have a straight line this is the straight line this one particularly so we're going to extend from here and i think we leave that from there so that is the step so then i come from here so repeat the same process so this will not actually show so, but this actually will come out so i'm going to copy this one so when i copy that i place it at this point and this also extends this line extends to this point this particular one so i'm going to extend this line to intercept that vertical line at this point. Okay. So this is where so this is um this is where intercepts where intercept this one. So this is where it the inter intercepts this particular line. So at this one there is a straight line also. So from that point I have to project a straight line to this point. Okay, that's cool. I hope you are following up what I'm doing. You see, the roof elevation is very, very simple. You just when you understand, when you follow this principle, it will be there for you to design the roof elevation of of the roof elevation of any roof, no matter how complex it is. So, this is where they meet also. Then you see that this one also extends. So this point so i'm going to copy this one too uh, copy then i have that 
this is where the straight line is and I have that placed here okay so this is where uh, now okay if you check this out this is so it should be the first line we should be meeting at this first line so I'm going to trim that off so we know what we are doing with okay so we have this uh, then we trim this ones so delete so um and uh, looking at this this one will not show actually because this one we block this this is on the same line this are on the same line so this one will not show this line actually covers for the second one the same thing happens here this one actually covers for this one and this one also covers for this this covers for this so that's why we are not showing that and also if you observe that this is the highest point of the roof this is the highest point so we will not be able to see this ones at this part because you are viewing this one from okay this is the front of the building so we are looking at it from the south yeah yeah should that be the south yeah we are looking at it from the south yeah yeah, this is the south elevation like that so we will not be seeing this from here we will not be seeing this front so we will only be seeing this front because this is the highest roofing so we are done designing our roof elevation so we remove the unnecessary lines uh, have this removed if you want to do all that remove together so we have this removed we have this removed we have this removed so 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 we are done Designing the roof, the roof elevation of this house. So, remember we offset 100 for the rich cap. So, this side of the rich cap, look at this, yeah. This is a rich cap, this is a rich cap. So, it is this particular rich cap that we show. This one will not show. So, we're really showing part of this. So, I'm going to be offsetting 100. So, we're going to offset 100. So, you'll be seeing this one. 100. Uh, so we see this one 100 we also see this 100 this will also come out 100 this will also come out 100 so we keep offsetting until we are done Of setting on the other. We have this key, that is very good. We have this and wait. Oh, yes, we have this and wait. We have this and wait. So we have this. Come down to the hundred. Let me check that. So, so um, I'm done setting with trim. I try to trim. So we're gonna. So we'll be trimming this part. Trim this. Trim this. Trim this. This ones so we trim this. We trim this. We trim this. We trim this. So if you look at this one, you will see this one. This one is coming from the back. So this one we actually everything about this one we show. So this one will be behind this one. So what we will be doing is we are not going to trim this one. Uh, 
so we're going to trim in this manner so when you trim this way it's actually saying that this one this one is behind this one so we are not going to trim this line we're going to leave this line this way so when you are looking at it you're able to know that this one came before this one so the same thing we are going to do here too we hit this this okay and have this trimmed off uh, have this also trimmed off have this trimmed off okay. have this trimmed yes okay have that so trimmed off a little more touches and we are done that's a little more touches and we are done so okay i should trim this one too have something this out okay. so we have my have something like this okay. So, this is actually your roof elevation. So, I believe I was able to, I was able to you know, explain more in details on how to actually design this um, roof elevation. So, um, actually, um, that is how to actually design your, your roof elevation. So, thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share to your friends. Thank you.